take the risk management test. Everyone faces some level of financial risk, but most people hope that catastrophe will strike someone else. Sadly, someone else may be you. This is why it is critical to review your insurances regularly and ensure they still meet your needs. Would you be able to cope with the risk of inadequate cover? Have you got too much cover? If circumstances have changed, have you adjusted your insurance? You can be systematic in looking at the risks you face. Firstly, identify the risk. Secondly, analyze how significant the risk is. And lastly, decide how you will handle the risk. Your choices are reduce the risk in some way, like installing burglar alarms, build up significant financial reserves so you can manage a loss if it occurs, saving, or buy protection in the form of insurance. Everyone is different, and for that reason, we recommend a periodic review with a risk management professional such as your financial advisor. To start with, what would happen if you lost your house, lost your car, lost your investment property, lost your personal effects, lost your income, were hospitalized, were unable to work through disability, died. It's easy to tick a box quickly without too much thought. Make sure you consider issues such as the rising costs of rebuilding your home and replacing lost assets, debt secured against assets such as mortgages and investment loans, providing for people who are dependent upon you. If the number of your dependents has reduced, you may have more insurance cover than you need. A change in marital status, accumulated leave from your job, such as sick leave, long service leave and annual leave, your health and those of your dependents. But it's not easy to work through this alone. Use this grid as a starting point and make an appointment to see us. We can ask the questions you haven't thought of. Even if the analysis shows you have managed your risks effectively, it will be worth the time for peace of mind. And don't forget, next year you need to do it all over again because the only constant in our lives is change.